a very warm welcome back to Spectacle Island for episode 10 with me, Mr. Sealy P. We're back. A few things are going to happen today on Spectacle Island. Got jobs to do, got a few things I'm going to swap out. Now we've got the ability to make Telmis ration, as you saw in the last episode. I have emptied the silage clamp over the biogas plant, which means now, if you scroll across the, roughly the middle, uh, we've got available at the collection point via pipeline 227,428 litres of silage, as well as our hay and our straw for making salt mix ration. So at some point during this episode, we are going to be getting the first of our cows. I've got some straw bales that are in the hayloft, which I'm going to use for the bedding, or at least to start off using for the bedding. I have got some spare around the side here. And we've got hay and we've got all sorts. Um, as I said in the last episode, I have put barley in one of the fields. Um, because I can use it for the cow, I can use it for the cows, I can use it for the pigs, I can use it for the chickens, as well as the wheat we've got, but the straw swath we're going to need for bedding and more baling work. Field 7 is ready to cut again, I think, as again I mentioned. I'm probably going to cut that and put all of that into the silage clamp. I was thinking about bringing it all to the silage clamp up here, but in all honesty, it's easier to do it at the biogas plant and transfer it. I say it's easy. Mm. Yeah, well, we'll see. It's doable. Now, field three, the larger field that had the corn in it, needs ploughing because it had corn in it. So we're going to plough that. It has been fertilised, so it was harvested. I've fertilised it, it needs ploughing. We're going to get another crop in that. I'm deciding I might go sunflower in this one this time. I'm just trying to get a mix of different crop types. Am I going to do cotton at some point? I might do. Am I going to do sugar cane? I might do. Again, because we're at this... We're on Spectacle Island, which is a kind of... It, it's not really anywhere specific. So, what crop type is okay to use here? Anything you like. I mean, to be fair, you can do that on any map. Again, we're back to the purest thing. You know, the, the simulated players and, you know... The players who just want to play for fun and, and utilize and, and use everything that's available. Um, there are certain maps and certain areas that if you do a let's play, people say they don't grow sugar cane there, you can't grow cotton there, you wouldn't do sugar beet or you wouldn't have this tractor or that tractor. If you are going to play ultra realistically and you are going to do uh, period correct or you're going to do area specific, or whatever, then yeah, absolutely. If you're just on here to play for fun, use whatever you like, you know, grow whatever you like, do whatever you like, it really doesn't matter. I love the sound of this T8, the blower one, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Now, um, what have I also done? Right, I've also purchased, I've purchased a wool pallet, which is by Missy B. Again, kind of showcasing a few bits and bobs I haven't really used when it first came out, but that's quite cool. It's, it's the one that, and I know it's like the magic, it's, it's a, oh that's something else that's going to be coming to here, I don't want to give the game away. Um, it's like a magic wool pallet, and you can set the capacity all the way up to 64,000 litres, and you place it in the wool pallet spawn point, and it will fill up. And then you can just take one wool pallet, rather than taking loads of wool pallets. Now again, it's not realistic, but, you know, I, might, I thought I might give that a go, and I've also um, bought an egg pallet. I'm going to put the egg pallet um, down for the chickens and then I'll just move one pallet at a time or something like that. I might get a small trailer for the back of the Land Rover. Which then brings me on to, I'm going to sell the International. I love it, love the sound of it. It is quite versatile because you can swap things around but I want to get a larger trailer. Now I thought about do I get one that's pulled by tractor. I think I'm going to get one to go on our lorry. Now, Jim has provided one in the miscellaneous tab, which I might just do that, I think. We'll go for the one that's here. I did have a look at a few of the modded ones, and there's that new one that's hundred and the, the Rowdy Christie one, the RYC 120. I looked at that and thought, I could do that, couldn't I? Which I still might. We might upgrade to that at a later date. So, yeah, we're going to get a trailer. So we're going to sell the International. We're going to get a larger trailer. I want to get a, a skid steer loader to have over at the um, milk sheep 
because I've got nothing for cleaning out the feed area and it means driving the wheel loader over every time I want to clean them out. I need something over there to clean out the area and if I get a set of forks or something for it I can uh, either move bales around or pallets or whatever I need to as I do that. What else was I thinking? A whole list of stuff I was just thinking I'll get a few bits done. So this is going to be one of those episodes I think where it's not necessarily going to be one specific task, although cows is my main focus for this episode. I want to get cows done. But there are a lot of little jobs that need doing, you know, a few odds and ends that need tying up here and there. If by the end of it I get the mowers on and go over to field 7 to cut the grass, great. Not a problem if I don't, I can do that off camera. I uh, was looking at, oh I said about getting a loading wagon as well, wasn't I? Because we're, we're going to be using it, I suppose, a fair bit. Because I'm going to be doing loose product, maybe. Oh, I don't know actually. With that, I might just lease it again. I, I don't know if I want to buy one. So yeah, a um, few jobs. I was talking was it in yesterday's episode. I was trying to think now. Um, I was saying about using different things on different let's plays, and obviously doing the TMR sandwiches, and using the small 18,000 litre feed mixer. I, I was just going to say, it's, it comes back down to that using different stuff and having a go with things I haven't used before and that kind of thing. If you think back, on Stone Valley, I used one of the TMR mixer silos, which did 100,000 litres at a time. So I was mixing 100,000 at a time. On Six Ashes, I was using the 45,000 litre feed mixer towed trailer. Um that I was using like doing big bulk piles of um, bales into that each time I did a mix on Eureka I used another one of the total mix ration mixing containers silo type things that did was it 300,000 litres at a time so I've done a I've done a, a, a range across all different let's plays of all different size feed mixes I've used all I think on Sussex farms I used the Knights one that was was the IT runner one. So I try and mix up, mix, pardon the pun. I try, I try and mix up if I can, and try different things on different let's plays. Um, so again, whilst yes, there are bigger alternatives. Yes, I could mix up far more at a time. Um, yes, I have done let's plays where I've just done my total mix ration on Washo. I did it all using Jim's silo. It was all loose product and I would just drive my mixer wagon underneath it and I would put loose product in to make my mixes. I've done it with bales, I've done it like I'm doing now, bales and loose product. You know, there are so many different ways to skin a cat, as they say. Why you would want to do that? I have no idea. So, I'm going to set worker off, carrying on ploughing on here. Now I've done what, two, three runs round. That can carry on ploughing. Hopefully we won't miss any bits, but if we do, we'll tidy them up. I will need to come on and sow this, like I say, prob probably sunflower. Yeah, just to get a variety of crops. And now we need to move on to... Let's take the international back, I guess. We need to lease an animal, a livestock trailer. So we can get the cows. We'll need to... I've got the tanker up at the farm, so we'll be fine for water. Yeah, all good. I just couldn't bear selling the International. <laughs> I'm keeping it. I'm keeping hold of it. I like it and it's handy. It's a good capacity, 45,000 litres for the size. And because it's not a trailer and you can change the back to being a flatbed or the log, I'm, I'm keeping it. I'm, I, yeah, just no explanation needed. I'm keeping it. So, to the store. Oh, I've just realised I don't think I've got... I don't think I've got the skids to loader I want. I just want a cheap skids to loader. Nothing over the top, nothing bonkers. Just cheap and cheerful, useful. But as far as trailer goes, I want to get... Under trailers. I mentioned it right back when I did the map tour, I think it was. The uh, Crumper... SB11, no, SB11, SB2301070. There's the standard version 
in game, which is that one there. 78 grand, 59,000 litre capacity, and it does all those things. Then Jim put in one for 70, which is cheaper and does 60 down. So it's 1,000 litres more, a little bit cheaper. Why not? 60,000 litres. Yes, I could go for the RYC for only eight grand more. Mm, no, what do I do? What do I do, people? <sighs> do we just go that big straight away? That's going to be really handy for sugar beet, though, isn't it? Because we're going to get a fair bit. You know what? Sorry, Jim. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I, I know he has been watching. I'm sorry. Do I go for something a little bit different? That's a nice look, isn't it? That's not going to match my lorry at all, but I do like that colour. Cover colour. Do I just go for something standard? Like a just a stainless steel? Galvanised steel? That's a weird look, isn't it? Um... Just go for the same colour. It's boring, I know. All camouflage cover. I did say, didn't I? So you can't be seen from the air. If drones are flying over and you're up to something nefarious, they can't see your trailer. It's clever, isn't it? Let's go with that. I'm going to... I don't know why. Um, we've gone straight for the 120,000 litre. I, I don't know why, but we have. Um, so excuse me later, I need to sort out that's the trailer side of things done. What else was I going to do? Oh, yeah, that was the other thing I was going to look at. Um, a hayloft. But, um, I don't, again, I don't think I've got the one installed that I wanted. That does 250,000 litres for 90 grand. There was a cheaper one. But, again, I can use... Yeah, that's the one I've used before. Same capacity for 15 grand. I do like that one. I was going to just go for an AJ Tech uh, Mercury Farms farm silo. Those are just, that's phenomenal. 500,000 litres, takes everything. I've used them, I think, right from, when was it? Marwell Manor, wasn't it? I think it was, the, it was out almost immediately. I've used that one on six ashes, and I, th I think that will... I'm just thinking of moving a load of grass from the silo at the farm over to my sheep, uh, my milk sheep. Um, then I've got stuff there available. With a little trailer, I can then feed them whenever I need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. Let's whiz that over to... Please let me place it. Where's my... I've lost them. There we go. Where do I want to put it? Over to the side here? Or do I want it? Where is it going to let me do it? Needs a bit of space, doesn't it? Hang on. Whoa. That will do, won't it? I like that. That fits. Right. Let's try and line it up if I can. We're in. I'll do some landscaping on that in a little while. Right. Another 15 grand spent. So this is what I was talking about. Reusable wool pallet and the egg pallet. I'm going to need a, uh, a flat bed. I've got the flat bed down there. We'll load them up. Right, I'm going to have to see you in a minute because I've just, like I say, I haven't got the skid steel loader I want, so I'm going to have to exit and come back with what I need. Um, oh, actually, while I'm here. Let's grab the livestock trailer so we can move the cows. Now, that will do 14 cows. That one will do 12. I don't think I've got the much big one, have I? If I do... Oh, I haven't got enough. <laughs> See, doing the gold bars is fine. But it doesn't mean you've got the money to buy the stuff you need. Um, we'll lease the Micheletto again. Don't need to change the room colour or anything like that. Let's lease that. Yeah, right. Go and grab the lorry, get that trailer off, and I'll go and get a wheel loader sorted. I will order one. It will need to be shipped. 
ordering and shipping it's almost like it's instantaneous it's amazing the shipping uh, delivery speed um i i changed the color of the trailer i bought i went hook up bought it down it looked awful with that the bright green cab on the on the uh, lorry so it's now the same color uh, we've got the animal uh, livestock trailer we're going to use that later i have got the massive ferguson skid steel loader the 711 by black sheet modding I went for the American Bandit DO24 trailer, I think it was. Haven't used it for ages. Again, there are so many different trailers available. I know there's the 82 Studio Versatile one, and you know, there are so many different ones. I'm hoping this hooks up to this now. Yes, how heavy is it going to be? Whoa, okay, that's not going to work. <laughs> oh, I was so hoping that was going to work. Right. Need another vehicle. What we can do, hopefully, what we'll do. Let's even if we've, we've just put the um, ramps down, <laughs> then we'll disconnect. There we go. Oh, okay, right. Oh, I feel like a right Charlie now. I thought it would, but oh, let's bring that whole another vehicle down. I think that's the only downside to the um, the VS and VSTR UK. It doesn't have a rear trailer, does it? I'm trying to think. Does it have a rear trailer? I'm sure it's one of the things I said that was a frustration with it. Yeah, it doesn't have a rear trailer, so I can't even use that. Oh, seriously? Okay. Well. Uh, let me just go and get something else. I have to go and get me the T8's done ploughing, so I'll go and grab that. What a palaver! What a palaver! Trouble is, I suppose a smaller trailer that would have worked on the back of the Land Rover wouldn't have been big enough to take it. I just wanted to take the pallets and the skid steer loader all at the same time. Now I'm going to put the bucket on and try and wedge it between the skid steer loader and the pallets. I don't think it straps down. It might do, but. Yeah, we'll see. That's the one that comes with this pack, weirdly. It looks very big. I went for the one without the cab. Just what it looked quite cool. And I've got the mm, trailer borgs. They're not the T404s. They're the, the big, chunky T404s. This is only 25 grand for the skid steer loader, which is brilliant. If I, like say, if I can push that right up against that and disconnect it. Yes, I have gone for a set of the uh, big bag handler by the, from the CSZ pack by DD Mod Passion because I love them. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. Don't attachment shame me, people. Right. Now I know that will strap, like that. Maybe that, oh hang on. Maybe that will hold that in place. That doesn't, but that's good because it's strapped with that. That's strapped. Right, first job. We're gonna go to... We're gonna go to the hayloft. I open up the hayloft. I'm just gonna clean up the feed area. Then we're going to leave the bucket there and then we're going to take all of this up to the farm because I'm going to need the big bag handler just to take off the two pallets. Then that will go back over to the sheep, the milk sheep. And then we will, next job, uh, come back, we'll grab the lorry, we'll go and get the, the cows, then we'll get TMR in, we'll get straw in and we'll get our water in. Then I need to look at yeah either I'm gonna either grab a cedar and go and grab and go and see field three. Why do I keep having so much trouble remembering? There yeah, is three, the big one is it? It's one, two, three, four. Yeah, I've got to do the sugar beating there. I was looking at options for sugar beating. In all honesty, it's either a, a pull behind 
small one which will take forever or the larger beet harvesters I mean there's not really much in between on that so whoa no it didn't stay on there it didn't like that one bit did it I went around there too fast it's my own fault got no one else to blame but myself it's interesting I was having a conversation um, <laughs> again with, with Jim the other day about this and about using the cliff road and about going too fast and you know and uh, and Jim said it's one thing he's never found when he's watched me he doesn't find him sh shouting at the screen for me to slow down yeah, generally speaking I'm not too bad at it I will kind of even if a vehicle will go around a corner at full speed I kind of I don't know why I kind of err on the side of caution you know what you know what I should have done? Oh, mind you, that might... Well, that's lock in place, it might do. If I strap that down, and then just put... Just hopefully the skids still won't fall off, will it? Will it? I don't know. <laughs> I should know. Uh, if I just drop that like that, strap that down with one, that'd be fine. Grab that. Yeah, I know I mean, this for 25 grand, you can't alter it. I know there's a there's a John Deere one for about the same price. And then there's that really cool one. I think it was also by Black Sheep Modern, wasn't it? That was um I think it was like five and a half thousand, six thousand for that skids to loader. I love it. I haven't used that Volvo one either. I wanted to use the Volvo one and I haven't done that. Like, fingers crossed the skids to loaders are going to fly off the back of this. I should have got a set of those chocks, shouldn't I? I've got them installed. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, it's actually, that's better like that. Should have done it that way around in the first place, shouldn't I? Now, when I said this field was ready to cut, I don't think all of it is. I think the far end is, but I'm not sure. Well, it should be by now. It's been over 24 hours. I don't know if that looks long enough. Does that look long enough to you? It doesn't matter. At some point we'll go into cutting it. So I think what we might do... Oh, look, there they are. That's where I left them the lorry. I can pick those up later on. Yeah, the top end here is fully ready to cut, but the rest of it isn't. Which is rather odd. Rather peculiar. Right, let's do that. Engine off. Well, that's opening up. Let's do. Do I need that open? I'm not sure actually. Can't remember how to do this. Hang on, where's my help menu? Oh yeah, mount it. There we go. There we go, right, so we can put in, we can take out. You can open all these doors, you can use them for storage. So I could put my wheel loader. Which one does open? One of these does. Yeah, so I can store my wheel loader away or skids it loader, sorry. Actually, it's probably better off on that one, isn't it? It's very cool. Cheapest chips, 250,000 in capacity. All I can put it under there. It doesn't matter which way I'm around. As I often say, these are jobs I'm doing. They need to be done. I thought, you know. I do often... Uh, geez, there's so much feed, there's a little. I do some jobs off screen. And sometimes it's that thing I found with doing SnowRunner and playing Gold Rush as well. If I'm on and I'm playing and I'm doing it, why not record it? Now, a lot of the times, I know, I know people want to see excitement, they want to see new gear, they want to see a different process or it done in a different way. But sometimes when you're playing, it's just, it's the farming, it's the day-to-day -day stuff. It's, this is what I'm doing at this, at this particular time. You know, whether it's necessarily what people want to see, I don't know. I was hoping people are here for me. Not really, I'm not that stupid, but you know what I mean. Right. I'm gonna leave that there. Let's get up, get these pallets dropped off. I will bring this back down later on, this will be brought back. But 
this is all expanded nicely with the hayloft and I'll use our nice big new trailer and I'll take a load of grass out of the hayloft we've got over there I'm trying to think how much we've got we've got a fair bit so put that onto there and at least do you know what I'm better off just unstrapping it and restrapping it on a there we go, that's better. Uh, right. I'm trying to think, how much have I got? Uh, as far as we had a look at a few of the different crops, we have got 233,865 litres. So I could bring almost half that over, couldn't I? If we're going to have our sheep split and, and when we put like 10 more in here, we'll put 10 more over there, in which case, did that run it? So it makes sense to have half of it over here, and there's plenty of grass for me to cut, it's not like I've got a shortage of it, but for the time being, if I'm going to use it for silage, I might as well have some grass over. There is a method to my madness. It's not always often obvious, <laughs> and it doesn't always happen. Sometimes you have an idea and you think, that's cool, that'll work, and it doesn't, and that's just the way it is. I will stop it there. Do that, do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Now, I don't know if the reusable wall pallet will fill up automatically. I might have to just do it. I've got a real weight on the back of this as well, by the way. In the pack, it has a weight that comes with it, a thousand kilo. And you know what? For doing... Oh, no, I didn't really put this in the right place, did I? at all. Never mind. No, don't want both of them. Come on. There we go. I made that a lot tighter than it needed to be. So hopefully it will just automatically fill from one to the other. Then we'll just leave it in place that way. I mean, to be fair, of all of the wall pallet spawn points on any map I've ever been on, this is by far one of the biggest. I mean, Jim's given plenty of space here. Uh, okay, maybe not. What we'll do then... What if I pick up the other one? Will it fill into it? Just hoping if I just put it there, it should just work. Now I can't remember what size I went for. I think I might have gone for the large one. No, I don't think it will. Okay. It should fill from now though. If it doesn't, we have a problem. Houston! We have a problemo. I'll pop that back down there just in case that wasn't completely full. That one's there. It's not straight, but I'll straighten up later, don't worry. You know me, I won't leave it. <laughs> then the egg one we'll put in place as well. There are the egg boxes that are used on six ashes by Food Farmer. I like those too. They fit in the back of the Land Rover very nicely. But I just thought I'd do it this way. That's the only thing with this one. Sometimes the straps go on and it gets that horrible bit like that. But that's my fault because I wasn't lined up properly. Mm, much better, but I might have to put the first one into this. Assuming that will do the same thing. I've just realised I've got the wrong one.
I've got the wrong one. Just broken those. I just threw them rather than picked them up and dropped them. Oh, I meant to get the ones by Quiet Hitman that I used on Stone Valley. I didn't use this one, did I? What was I thinking? Where are they? If I still got them installed. Yeah, the reusable bulk pallets. That one. That's what I meant to get. It does way more to a box. I got the wrong thing. They're the wrong trousers, Gromit. And they've gone wrong. I'm going to go back and get that. But I'll, don't worry about that. I'll do it off screen. Um, for the time being, that will stay there. That's a mistake, but it is what it is. Uh, right, cows. I'm going to go down, grab the lorry. We'll get up the tankers here. Telmix rations there. Straws over there. So we should be able to do the TMR bedding and water. Let's get the cows in. What am I doing? I'll take this back on my way, can't I? Jigsaw puzzle. Remember what I said? Doing the pieces in the right order. If I'm going back anyway, this can go back down to the sheep milk pen area. And I can bring the other egg box back. You still don't need to worry about it. I'm not going to show you all that. Right. <laughs> Got egg on my face now. I'm typical on it. I've got all over excited as I do. Pick the wrong crate, it's just the way it is. Uh, I'm going to go for 20 cows, the same as I've done with both sets of sheep pens. I'll probably do the same with pigs when I start off just to get myself, uh, get the ball rolling. When we start making a bit more money on. I'm not quite sure what we're going to make money on. Actually, I might, I might harvest field 7, like I said, for silage, but actually sell it at the biogas plant this time rather than move it over. Mm, maybe. Um, because we haven't really got an income. The gold bars are fine, but they're going to run out. But we need a kind of a, a constant source. Yes, I can do propane runs. I can do petrol runs. But I know people will get fed up with me doing that as well. So I guess I've got to... Now, I do like the brown and whites. I've done the black and whites quite a lot. I did black, I did Angus. Uh, you know what, let's go, should we go browns? Let's go browns this time. We can only transport 14 at a time, so I will do the first 14 and I'll come back for six more. But what we'll do is we'll put the 14 in, we'll sort out the feed and stuff for them and the water and the bedding. Uh, and then again I'll come back and I'll do the other six. Um, at a later date we'll get them sorted out. And then I think what I will do, I'll get the cedar. It'll be the planter actually, if I'm going to do sunflowers on it. It'll be the planter, not the cedar. We'll go over to field four and I'll get some sunflower in the ground. And then I think, I'm just trying to think, next episode, uh, we want a sugar beet. We need to get a sugar beet off the field. So it will either be, well, I'm good, I need to do mowing anyway. And I am going to lease a loading wagon, I'm not going to buy one. As you can see, that 271 grand I had doesn't go very far when you start buying a few bits and you start getting your livestock and that kind of thing. I do want to ramp up the amount of sheep we have as well because I want the wool production to be a bit more prolific than it is. So we you know, just need to get more. That's not a problem. We can do that too. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Uh, no, that'd be alright. I was just saying I'll keep doing that. I don't know. Why have I started doing that recently? I don't know why. Uh, that I need to make sure I've got enough grass over here. Yeah, I'll probably just split it down the middle. These are the thought processes of my mind. Scary, I know. How is that ready to harvest? Oh no, I changed the thing, didn't I? So that can't be ready to harvest already. Yeah, it is, and field four. I only harvested last night. I haven't even done my sugar beet yet. I think I put it back on fast, did I? Yeah, plant growth. 
want plant growth on normal well I've got withering off so it can sit like that for a little while it does mean I can roll around to the next job but then again of getting the barley sorted out and getting some more straw but I don't need to do that just yet I've done enough episodes of baling so for a little while and I might collect some of that loose as well and put it into the hayloft now I'm going to get the uh, loading wagon to do the grass off of field 7 I might as well utilise it for getting some of the uh, getting some of the straw off the field and we'll have some loose, some bales because I'm using it as well I'm, I'm making the total mix ration and storing it and those are 6,000 litre bales I'm, I'm nowhere near my 200 bale limit anyway so just different ways of tackling it I suppose let's get them in excellent stuff so first 14 I'm just going to drive off then and I'll get in trouble for leaving the gate I know how much it infuriates people <laughs> I always go back and close them even when I do I know weirdly it's that part of me I can't help it even when I do map tours and I go whizzing around the map and people say, oh, he's left the gates open. I, I honestly, honestly, I go back and I close them. I can't help myself. It's who I am. Now, I'm going to fill this tanker. And last time I poured the excess down the drain, but I'm going to I'll store some. I mean, at the end of the day, I can get the water. It's free. It's up here at the yard. I can get it whenever I need it. But rather than pouring it away, it's a waste, isn't it? Let's get the water done. I've got 18,000 litres of told me it's ration there already, but that's not going to be enough. So we'll need to make some more. No, that's not the water. That's the silage. That's the water. Let's do that. Uh, actually, that's going to take a little while. While well, that's doing that, let's get the first load of TMR in. I'm pretty sure I've got the mixer set on tip side right now. We'll see what kind of a dent, <laughs> if any, 18,000 litres makes. I don't think it's going to make much of a dent, but we shall see. Let's go across that way to our livestock, down to our cows. Oh, actually, you know what? It's not as bad as I thought. We probably only need two and a bit loads. So what we'll do while we're here, I've got some, got a couple of loads, so I do two or three loads before I think stored. But we'll just do that. that. Oh, did I not hook up to those? I thought I had. Maybe I just prepared them and didn't. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to use the cement to go and get the straw. I'm going to get the straw from over in the, the hay loft, the ones that Jim left us, simply because they're 4,000 litre bales, so it makes more sense to do that. The whiz round. You see, it's all this. I, I love all this. When you've got, a, you know, I, I, like, well, on any of the maps I've done, working around a yard, when you're doing stuff like feeding your animals and you're going around, you're collecting your tapwicks ration and whatever it might be, cleaning out first and then putting your feed in your bales and your water and I don't know there's something strangely rewarding about it, oh it's not strangely at all is it it's just it's that kind of work rewards you put something in you get something out and it, it you know is it serotonin is that what it releases or endorphins I can never remember which one it is it, it's, it's that happiness thing isn't it it just makes you feel good there's nothing wrong with that We are going to need some more, um, which I will do in just a second. But what we'll do first is grab that. Let's go and grab those straw bales. 
Now on, I think it's the same barn, I'm sure it's the same barn, that was on Sussex. So if Jim's done it the same way, I should be able to put bales down in the straw section. And it will gradually take them as it needs them. I think it's done the same, there were a couple of grass bales over here in the hayloft. I put those over next to, I put them in it to start off with, but I put them over on the, uh, the sheep feed trough and it took from them straight away, so we should be alright. There are actually four here. Oh, I probably should have got that last one, shouldn't I? It's going to be a bit of an angle to start off with. You know what I'll do, which will make life a little bit easier while we're doing this. Let's get some light on the subject. That's better. Just grab it at an angle first. We'll worry about the other bit in a second. Doesn't have to be super neat, but it'll be enough to transport it over. I did the three originally because I had three of the other bales, and I thought I'd put them together as a as a six to make my TMR sandwiches. And then, actually, am I going to be able to get all four here? Maybe the top one won't be secured, but I'll try. I was saying twelve thousand litres. Oh no, that's only three, isn't it? 4,000 litres, yeah. Yeah, top one's not secured. Okay. Be careful, Mr. CDP. It's weird, isn't it? I don't know when I started referring to myself in the third person. Then we'll get some water in. Then that's, that's cows. We've got two sorts of sheep. We've got chickens. We've now got some cows. What are we, episode 10? Are we episode 10? I'm trying to think now. Done alright, aren't we? It would have been a bit longer without the gold bars, let's be honest. I could have done, I could have spent more days doing logging. Because I, I, that doesn't bother me. I enjoy doing that and I enjoyed loading up the, the, the uh, barge. So I could have earned a load more money doing that way. There we go, look. And then that one will sit there. When I put the next load in, that will take that. So that's straw, Tomix ration. Next is water. And I'll make some more Tomix ration in a bit. Probably need some more straw too. Right, water. Go and grab that. It's been a while since I've done all the animal types. I'm trying to think on. Stone Valley I did cows, massive amount of cows, and chickens, didn't I? Did I, did I do sheep? I don't think I did, did I? Definitely didn't do... Did I do pigs? I don't think I did. I was talking about doing it. fulfilling. I'm not going to get rid of the rest of the water yet because obviously I'm going to get some more cows. I'm going to need that. So what should happen fairly soon is that should flip over. Bang. 99%. We are clean. They're taking stuff. We've got some slurry already. Manure was already there. Oh, was the slurry there already? Might have been. Uh, and then we should start uh, we'll get a reproduction rate. We'll pop up I will swing this around the other way because it needs to took up to. And I'm going to go off and I'm going to get some more cows. Um, I, I did say I was going to finish off doing planting, but in all honesty, I did need to go and get the rest of the cows. And then I'll get the rest of the feed and bedding and everything sorted out. And then they're good to go for a bit. And then I'll go and grab the plants. So maybe we'll start the next episode with the planting. And we'll get that filled done. And then we'll, we'll like I say, we'll move on to the sugar beet. 
The other two fields, I know they're ready to harvest, but I've only just harvested them, so we'll get onto those in a little while. Oh, that's good, that's good. I'll make some more Turtwigs ration in a minute. But I think... I'm going to say it again, and I'm probably going to be wrong when I come to edit. This may be a little bit shorter than usual, I don't know. Um, I've enjoyed this one today. I mean, I, I, I feel very... yeah. I know it sounds a bit sort of sappy and whatever, but I feel very fulfilled today. We've, we've got a few jobs done that needed doing. You know, we've got, oh yeah, I need to move over the grass to the other hayloft as well. Maybe we'll do that at the start of the next episode too. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're still enjoying it. If you are, and if you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.